my sale box. This was a pop culture and horror box, I believe. So it should be a nice mixture. Nicely packed. Back to the black tissue. I'll show you what I've just literally seen. This is how it looks as I open it. Where to start? I'll go for. I think I've still got a little there somewhere. The Hills Run Red Baby Raffle Pop Raffica. So that is that one. Um, that is up on a shelf at the side of me because my son, every so often picks up certain props and things out of his own display and looks at them and leaves them on that shelf or in the display. So, happy with that. Means I can put one in my display and it will stay there. Something I've been after in a box for a very long time. And I think I need a sheriff badge. Yeah. That's the Hopper name badge from Oh, da, 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 da. can't remember the show now. Strange things. So there's the Hopper name badge. The only thing is now I need to hunt down a sheriff's badge because at the time I wasn't really into Stranger Things. Well, still not. But although I like the item, somebody was into it, so I sent it to them. So I've got that. I need to get the proper badge now. Have from a Halloween free a melting skull mask, which is out of 250. We have from the Krampus the standard pin. We have the Kabuki Man. I did get one of those, I think I got the limited ones there. We have Flash Limited Pin out of 99. We have Batman Pin. And we have the Freddy Krueger with a bow tie pin. have room 64 key from American Horror Story Hotel Cortez I believe it was so that's cool I don't mind that at all um, again I think I have one of them so I can put one in my son's display and it stops him taking mine Agents of Shield. Which is cool. I do have that, but again it means I can have one in my display. And a little hands won't keep borrowing it. But I do like that it likes these sort of things. Hollywood chainsaw hookers. They charge an arm and a leg. Don't mind the patches. Let's see, we'll go for a non-horror, I think. Baba Yeager, the Boogeyman. That is from John Wick, and that is a bottle opener in the shape of a bullet. So, that's cool. Got a couple of those, but I don't mind things like that. Nice little items. We have the Patrick Bakeman... Bateman business card from American Psycho. We have the Ace Ventura card from Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Um, give the Patrick Bateman one to my son and he does already have one of those because he was sent one by somebody so I can go in my collection with my others. Try and keep 
keep going horror and thing. We have the knuckle duster, which was the scorpion. I do already have that one, but that is fine. Did like those. We have. I've just sent one of these to somebody. Um, they've not done a video yet, but I have a spare now, so I may let my son have it. Um, unless there's anybody else that desperately needs one. And that is the Goonies Copper Bones Key. We have Logan Pack, which was one of the one of a three part series that was done by him and this is the Avengers stroke Marvel that was number three four five or five hundred there's the defenders poster by Nadine Castex, Castex. Number six one one of two thousand. We have the Predator art print. Number thirty six five hundred. I can't remember if I got that one or the standard one, but I did put it up somewhere for somebody. I'll have to have a look. And I do need to send that off still. And we have the Dino Crunch, 347 of 500. We have a Greg Berg Donatello autograph. Which is cool. I think I had that one. Uh, I will need to check what autographs I've got. I can't remember if I still have this one or not. But nice to have another autograph. There is a 8x10 signed by Bradley Pierce, who was in Jumanji as the little boy who turns into like the monkey. I do like that photo that is opposite Robin Williams as well. So that's a nice item. have Legends Art Print by Ken Hazer. That is number 1010 of 1500. We have Legends by Ken Hazer, part one of three. Is number 278 of 1500 with Chucky, Alien, Tony Todd, um, Candyman, obviously Chucky, Critter, Leatherface, Jason. So cool, do like those. I do have the both sets of those, I believe, though. Um, Oscar Van, and this is. From the collection 13. That is number 219 of 500, so that's the variant. We have Zach Ward, who played Bobby Davis in Freddy vs. Jason. Of blood in the bath. So that's a cool looking autograph. Uh, lots of blood though. Won't show that one to the little one. We have Five Nights at Freddy signed by Kaylin Goff. Did get that one, so that one is a autograph that's available. So all in all, I'm happy with that. Got some nice autographs that 
I can keep in the collection. Got some nice props. Um, again, that I can keep in the collection. A few duplicates of things. Um, but that's what happens with these sort of things anyway. Um, it's a risk that you take, but to be honest, there's nothing that I'm disappointed with really. I like everything that was in there. Um, quite a good mix. And I'm sure the little and I'll enjoy picking a few items. So that was my Bambox fire sale. I'll get through those and sort them out later. Um, I have the BAM Horror and the BAM Pop Culture for May. Looking forward to seeing those as the signed item for the Horror. Sounds quite interesting. Um, I've not seen everything that's in there. I've seen a few little franchises. Um, I've done the same for the Pop Culture. Um, Looking forward to the autograph. Um, I sort of know who that might be, and that is why I'm very, very interested in. Um, so, hopefully, they'll be shipping out the end of the month. Um, can't wait to get those, to be honest. My son's looking forward to it as well. Um, he's seen a few of the <laughs> franchises, and he does like a couple of them. Some he had no idea, so he asked. Um, I need to find the films and show him the film that relates to him. But he normally likes opening just anything anyway. So, thank you for watching and bye for now.